Okay, good afternoon class. I am your teacher, Jessa Arias. Our topic for today is all about the skin and its structures, different bones of the skeletal system and the major muscles of the human body. The skin is the largest organ of the body with a total area of about 20 square feet. The skin protects us from microbes and the elements helps regulate body temperature and permits the sensation of touch, heat, and cold. Skin has three layers. First, the epidermis. The outermost layer of skin provides a waterproof barrier and creates our skin tone. Second, the dermis beneath the epidermis contains two connective tissue, hair follicles, and sweat glands. Third, the deeper subcutaneous tissue, hypodermis, is made of fat and connective tissue. The skin's colors is created by special cells called melanocytes, melanocytes, which produce the pigment melanin. Melanocytes are located in the epidermis. Skin conditions Rash Nearly any change in the skin's appearance can be called a rash. Most rashes are from simple skin irritation. Others result from medical conditions. Dermatitis, a general term for inflammation of the skin. A topic dermatitis, a type of eczema, is the most common form. Eczema. Skin inflammation, dermatitis, causing an itchy rash, most often it's due to an overactive immune system. Psoriasis, an autoimmune condition that can cause a variety of skin rashes. Silver, scaly plaques on the skin are the most common form. Dandruff, a scaly condition of the scalp may be caused by Sivoria dermatitis, psoriasis, or eczema. Acne, the most common skin condition. Acne affects over 85% of people at some time in life. Cellulitis, in inflammation of the dermis and subcutaneous tissues, usually due to an infection, a red worm, Often painful skin rush generally results. Skin abscess, boil or pharyncal, a localized skin infection creates a collection of pus under the skin. Some abscesses must be opened and drained by a doctor in order to be cured. Rosacea, a chronic skin condition causing a red rush on the face. Rasakeya may look like acne and is poorly understood. Warts, a virus infects the skin and causes the skin to grow excessively, creating a wart. Warts may be treated at home with chemicals, duct tape, or freezing, or removed by a physician. Melanoma, the most dangerous type of skin cancer. Melanoma results from sun damage and other causes. A skin biopsy can identify melanoma. Basal cells carcinoma, the most common type of skin cancer. Basal cell carcinoma is less dangerous than melanoma because it grows and spreads more slowly. Siboria kerat keratosis, a benign, of often itchy growth that appears like a Stop on work. Seborrhea keratosis may be removed by a physician if bothersome. Actinic keratosis, a crusty or scaly bump that forms on sun exposed skin. Actinic keratosis can sometimes progress to cancer. Squamous cells carcinoma, a common form of skin cancer, squamous cell carcinoma may begin as an ulcer that won't heal or an abnormal growth. It usually de develops in sun-exposed areas. Herpes. The herpes viruses HSV1 and HSV2 can cause periodic blisters or skin irritation around 
The lips are the genitals. Hives. Place red itchy patches on the skin that arise suddenly. Hips usually results from an allergic reaction. Ten vesiculars. A benign fung fungal skin infection creates pale areas of low pigmentation on the skin. Viral exanthema. Many viral infections can cause a red rash affecting large areas of the skin. This is especially common in children. Chingles, herbs, zoosters, herpes zoster, caused by the chicken pox virus. Chingles is a painful rash on one side of the body. A new adult vaccine can prevent shingles in most people. Scabies, tiny mites that burrow into the skin cause scabies. An intensely itchy rash in the webs of fingers, wrists, elbows, and buttocks is typically of scabies. Ringworm, a fungal skin infection, also called tines. The characteristic rings is creates are not due to worms. Different bones of the skeletal system and the major muscle of the human body. Human skeleton. The healthy skeletal system is made up of bones, ligaments, and cartilage. What is a skeletal system made of? What does the skeletal system do? At the, sim at the simplest level, the skeleton is the framework that provides structure to the rest of the body and facilitates movement. The skeletal system includes over 200 bones, cartilage, and ligaments. Pero ang sabi dito is 206 bones. The skeletal system consists of more than bones. When you look at the human skeleton, the 206 bones and 32 teeth stand out. But look closer and you'll see even more structures. The human skeleton also includes ligaments and cartilage. Ligaments are bands of dense and fibrous connective tissue that are key to the function of joints. Cartilage is more flexible than bone, but stiffer than muscle. Cartilage helps give structure to the larynx and nose. It is also found between the vertebrae and at the ends of bones like the femur. The adult human skeleton is made up of 206 bones. These bones provide structure and protection and facilitate motion. Bones articulate to form structures. The skull protects the brain and gives shape to the face. The thoracic cage surrounds the heart and lungs. The vertebral column, commonly called the spine, is formed by over 30 small bones. Then, there are the limbs, upper and lower, and the girdles that attach the four limbs to the vertebral column. Verter vertebral column. The skeletal protects vital organs. The brain is surrounded by bones that form part of the skull. The heart and lungs are located within the thoracic cavity, cavi cavity, <laughs> cavity, and the vertebral column provides structure and protection for the spinal cord. Cavity. Interaction between the skeleton muscles and nerves move the body. How does the skeleton move? Muscles throughout the human body are attached to bones. Nerves around a muscle can signal the muscle to move. When the nervous system sends commands to skeletal muscles, the muscles contract that construction produce movement at the joints between bones. Bones are grouped into the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. Bones of the appendicular skeleton facilitate movement while bones of the actual skeleton protect internal organs. All skeletal structures belong to either the appendicular skeleton girdles and limbs or to the actual skeleton, skull, vertebral, vertebral column, and thoracic cage. Bones can be classified into five types. 
Bones of the human skeletal system are categorized by their shape and function into five types. The femur is an example of a long bone. Ito, ito siya. The, front, the frontal bone is a flat bone. Yes naman, ito yung flat bone. The patella, also called the kneecap, is a seaside bone. Ito, seasamoid bone. Seasamoid pala yan, hindi seaside. Carpals in the hand and tarsals in the feet are examples of short bones. Ito naman siya. Okay, yun lamang po. Pasensya, pasensya na po kung medyo maingay. Kasi malapit lang po kami sa kalsada. Thank you.